Hello everybody and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. I am going to answer a question that I have been asking. In other words, I couldn't find the answer, a definitive answer one way or the other, and so I decided to record my own video. And the answer, or the question is, can the Nikon Z6, Z7, probably the Z50 as well, use clean HDMI out? So what does that mean? Let's check it out. Okay, so what's this whole clean HDMI out? What does this all this mean? Like, why am I using my, my, my new mirrorless camera as a webcam? Well, first of all, let's answer one thing at a time. The clean video or HDMI out is basically you want to be able to connect your, your Nikon Z6, Z7, Z50, probably, I haven't tested a Z50, don't know. But you want to be able to connect it to any video source, a monitor, a recording, a capture card, whatever, and you don't want all this stuff around it. In other words, you see where I'm on manual focus. I'm using autofocus continuous. I'm shooting in raw, so forth and so on. Those are great details that I love having when I'm doing a photography tutorial. So I love being people being able to see the settings that I have on. However, when I am recording a video, or more importantly, which is the purpose of this, this, um, this tutorial, I want to use that great camera and that great lens as my webcam, then I can't have all this, this stuff around me. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to switch from photo to video. Just on the back of the camera, switching from photo to video like that. And all that stuff goes away. Now you're just looking at the video. There's no more display around it. It's no more showing the settings. They're still on the back of the camera. So you still get to see them, but your audience doesn't have to. So that solves the first problem. While we're at it, we're going to bring up the menu and solve a second problem. You're going to need to do this anyway. So let's bring up the menu and we're going to turn off the power delay. So power off delay. It's in the C3 menu group. It's on standby timer, and currently mine is on no limit, but your default, we scroll up, is probably, I don't know, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, somewhere in there. But we want it on no limit because you don't want the camera shutting off while you're using it as a webcam. So we're going to just go ahead and say uh, no limit, and that way it will continue to just stay on. Now, in order to stay on, that means you got to have batteries that will last the length of your Zoom call or your Skype call or your video recording, or you're going to have to have some type of power adapter. So I have a power adapter that worked with my D850. Unfortunately, it didn't work with my Z6. So I'm going to find one, and if I find it, I'll put it in the, in the link to it in the comments below. Now, now we've got the camera set up, and we know HDMI out is clean. We don't see all the stuff dis displayed. Uh, I got an 85 millimeter one f 1.8 lens on it, and so we're seeing nice depth of field of the photo behind me. One of my own photos, by the way, from Iceland. So how does this work? How do we get this into my computer? We're looking at this on my computer right now. So how do, how do we get this recorded? How do we get this into a Zoom call? How do we get this into our computer to see? The problem is your computer has video out. It has HDMI support. It, ha it might have mini display port. It might have a display port. It might have all kinds of video out options, but it doesn't have video in by default on most computers and most laptops. So you're going to need a capture card. Now, <clears throat> there are lots of capture cards out there. And basically what a capture card is, I'm, I'm holding one right now. This is the exact one that I'm using to record this video. This is a, not, well, not this exact one. I got one just like it plugged in. But <laughs> this, is, this is the exact make and model I'm using. And on one end, it's got HDMI. So there's HDMI in. And on the other end, it's got USB out. So this is the Magwell or Magewell USB capture HDMI version two of their card. Now we say card, meaning like normally we think of cards as being inside the computer, but this is completely external. And the reason I love this particular one 
although it's not the cheapest one, and, and I'm not being paid to say this, Magewell doesn't even know I exist. The reason I love this particular one is because it's so pain free, meaning it just works. There's no drivers. It's Mac and Windows compatible. There's nothing to install. You plug in whatever HDMI source on one side, USB on the other, USB into your computer, and you've got video. So that is what I've got plugged in to my Nikon Z6 right now, or the Nikon Z6 is actually plugged into it, and it's plugged into my MacBook Pro. So how do we get the HDMI out of the Z6? Well, your, your Z6 or Z7 has a mini HDMI port on the side of it. So I'll put a link to the cable because you're going to need a mini to standard HDMI cable. So that cable is what connects to the Magewell or whatever capture card you go with. I don't really care which one you go with. I'm just telling you what I use. So now that you've got that plugged in, the next time you're on your computer, your computer will see that as a camera, as a source. So when you go into Skype, when you go into Zoom, when you go into any other um, a video app, video communication app that can that can use another camera, you'll be able to choose it in the list of cameras to be able to use. Now, you might be wondering, well, is this even worth the effort? I'm going to show you two other cameras. I've got the FaceTime camera here, and this is the camera that is built into my, my MacBook Pro. It's okay. It's 720p. Um, one of the first things that will that you'll want to do if you're going to use your built-in camera is you notice I'm having to look down at it because my laptop's on the table where yours probably is too. So I would need to get this up to about this high in order to be looking at it at eye level. So I hate when I'm on a Zoom call or any other call when I'm looking down and everyone else is looking down at their camera on their computer. So this is the lowest common denominator probably shouldn't use it if you want to do this professionally and you you just shouldn't do it if you want to have a good zoom call where everyone's making eye contact now i do have a webcam i have a logitech c922 camera i've used for years let's switch over to that one and that camera is mounted uh, a little bit away from me i could bring it closer but as you can see it's a nice wide angle and it's letting me see everything the quality is decent it's mounted inside my ring light, so the lighting's good because it's coming off a ring light. But you don't get shallow depth of field. You don't get to use whatever lenses you want. You don't get any controls really over it pretty much at all because most video conferencing software just let you choose the camera. They don't let you control the camera. They don't let you set up the camera. They don't let you crop the camera or do anything. So webcams, I would be, I would be like the second, you know, like I would say, DSLR or mirrorless webcam built-in camera. So it, it, they're not bad. I use them all the time. But if you're going to use it, use it like I'm using here, where I, I'm looking over. I was, sure, I was looking at the wrong camera. I'm looking over at it, and it's higher. So I'm, I'm kind of making eye contact with that camera. Um, so I, I got it mounted probably a little too high. I'd probably bring it down and bring it a little closer to me. But anyway, what we really want to get to and the purpose of this video is so that you could use your Nikon Z cam. I'm just going to say Z camera because you might be on a Z6, you might be on a Z7. And again, I haven't seen a Z50, but I assume they work the same way. And no matter which one of those cameras you're on, you want to be able to get good quality video out of it into your computer. Now, you might be asking, well, couldn't I do this with a USB cable? Like the camera has USB-C built in. Can I just plug the USB cable in and plug it into my computer? Hey, I've even got a tethering cable. Will that work? No. Yes and no. <laughs> it won't work natively. Just plugging it in, your, your, your computer still won't see it because it's just not the camera's just not designed to provide video out natively like that over USB without software looking for it that way. So there are some software programs that will do it. Mac have Mac applications that will do it, Windows applications that will do it. But here's what I've seen in just my research. Like there's Ecamm Live. That seems to be like one of the best ones for the Mac. And while it works, first of all, it's, it's a series of steps to get it set up and get it working. Second of all, you're having to make what I consider bad choices to get it to work. You're having to step down to a crop sensor. You're having to lower the resolution possibly to get it. For example, with a capture card, now this one captures 1080p, 
but Elgato makes one that captures 4K. So if I need great 1080p 4K video out of my Z camera, my, my Nikon Z camera, then using a capture card that supports whatever resolution I need is going to be the best, maybe not the cheapest, but certainly the best possible use. All right, so with that said, uh, this is just a quick video on, yes, you can get clean HDMI out. Yes, you can use your Nikon Z camera as a webcam. Yes, the HDMI out of it is clean and works fine as long as you've got a capture card that will bring that video back into your computer and show up on all your uh, various video conferencing software apps as a video source or video camera. So with that said, cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.